All right, Mark, uh, obviously this has been an adventurous week for you. <laughs> you just wrapped, wrapped up uh, day one of fall camp. Yeah. Your initial thoughts, uh, having seen the guys without Jamal after day one? Very, very pleased with uh, how in shape they are. Uh, you know, again, uh, kudos to Frank uh, for, for getting everybody ready. He, him and his staff, they did an excellent job. Uh, I couldn't be more pleased with the way that they came out and, and prepared uh, all summer long and, and how they're uh, playing right now, playing really well, especially for a first day. You know, there's, again, uh, you know, still little nuances that they've got to correct. But uh, other than that, I'm very pleased with, uh, with the product that they, uh, that they produced out uh, in the summer and, and who I'm working with right now. So. How did the guys respond to the news when they found out Jamal would not be playing this year? Yeah, again, uh, you know, every, we love Jamal. Uh, everybody does, and uh, particularly in our room. Uh, we know we've, you know, we know, probably know him best, uh, better than you know everybody else on the team. We spend a lot of time together, and uh, and so yes, it was. Uh, it, it's unfortunate that he's not here with us, but we're very grateful in the sense that uh, you know he's, uh, you know he's gonna he's gonna be all right, and and that we're gonna have the the next people step up and 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 again put the best product out there against Nebraska. I I, I really do feel that that. Uh, the guys that I have in my room are well prepared and uh, are anxious to uh, to represent BYU and and to play our brand of football and and I think that uh, that's going to happen. So, how much do you enjoy the challenge now that you face <laughs> to motivate these guys in the absence of Jamal? Yeah, it, it, it's it's great. Uh, you know, this is my third year here and uh, my third fall camp, so uh, I, I feel you know well prepared to to for this task, especially uh, again with Jamal and I being here. We, we played the last four or five games with him uh, last year and uh, without him. So we, uh, you know, we, we have some, uh, some clue about how to go about it. And uh, I, I think uh, the, the guys in our room, you know, Algie, uh, Nate, and uh, Ai, and, uh, you know, Adam, and, uh, you know, everybody else that, you know, has been battle tested. Now, I think they're going to come through and, and produce for us. And so, again, we know what the standard is, and it, it hasn't gone down. And, uh, you know, again, without uh, uh, Jamal, it'll be difficult, but uh, not impossible. So, One more question about 21, then we'll move on to your personnel, the guys that are actually going to play this year. Yeah. Uh, have you had a conversation with him, and, and how are his spirits? Oh, yeah. I, uh, last night, I talked to him, and uh, it was good. He's uh, he's doing okay, and uh, you know again we're gonna yeah he has things they ha that he has to do, and, and again there's things that he knows that we need to do right now. So he's been through fall camp, and he knows uh, how it is uh, for the brothers that uh, that are here right now. So uh, we'll be okay, you know we'll be fine, and, and uh, again we'll we'll just put our heads down and go to work, and and I think we'll be okay. Algie Brown looks quicker looks like he's dropped a little bit of weight yeah Algie looks good he, he looks really good um, so did, so does Nate so does uh, Ai, you know and, and uh, you know a couple others that we're relying on there's a, there's a kid named Kobe Hansen that uh, was a walk-on last year and uh, he's doing well and uh, you know with Adam Hine coming back you know we, we've got a stable of guys that we can go to and uh, you know we'll figure out how we're gonna you know scheme uh, not being you know, being without Jamal. But again, I, I think uh, the onus is on us as, as coaches. And, and, and uh, uh, again, that's, that's how I want it to be. And then we'll be prepared and we'll put the best product forward. So, Who's the energy guy now in the running backs group? <laughs> I don't know. So I'm hoping somebody emerges. Uh, <laughs> you know, they're going to have uh, all fall camp to, to do that and see who rises to the top in that department. But again, everybody has their personalities and I don't like uh, anybody to be fake. So, uh, you know, we're just gonna work with what we have and, and everybody's gonna be genuine and, and everybody's gonna know what they're gonna do and, and do their job well. And uh, I think that's uh, what Cougar fans can look forward to. You mentioned this is year three. Now that you are in year three of the go fast, go hard offense, yeah. <laughs> how much of a difference can you tell in, in what the guys know on day one compared to years previous? And, and again, you can ask Coach and I when, when he comes, yeah. but uh, my assessment of it today is, it, it is awesome because we were doing things that uh, you know, we would normally 
I guess it'll take a, a while to learn. And, and uh, again, we were just with different things that, that we do. And uh, we started on day one with those things and it was great because now we can, uh, we can improve on, on, on those things that we'll, we'll use in the game and, and, and prepare our guys a lot better than we have in the past. Simply because we have better stuff. You know, and, and so, you know, having said all of that, I, I'm just happy that the guys are in shape, physically able to do those things, and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna come come ready to go, and then it'll be exciting in, in in Nebraska. So, you're never short on excitement or energy <laughs> or energy on the field. Uh, do you ever want to put on the pads, like, and just just for a few plays, and just just bro, go at it with them? I'm telling you, man, I'm too old for that stuff, man. <laughs> I, I watch how I coach my guys, and I'm telling them, you know, to do the things that I I used to do in the past, and yes, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'll break, guarantee, I'm brittle now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, sometimes you you, I, I I guess that's where I pour my energy into my coaching, and uh, you know, between the chalk lines, you know, that, and that's when the excitement hits me, and I'm, again, I'm, I. I Yes, it, it, it's unfortunate that we don't have 2-1, but I'm really excited for the season. And, and again, uh, the guys that are in my room will, will, will handle the pressure and, and, and are excited to, for the challenge, and I think we'll, we'll do okay. BYU Sports Nation All Access with Mark Atuaya. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> All right, good. See you guys. <laughs>